enterprise blockchain software company based in San Francisco. We were uh, founded back in... That's a very broad question. I mean, I think that um, we're beginning to see the blockchain... Um, has uh, we do financial services uh, focused on seniors. Uh, um, uh, we do digital identity verification. That's uh, using uh, a lot of data. Uh, so uh, at Stern Ventures, we're an investment bank dedicated to helping executives <laughs> connect. With I, I do. I think about that sometimes, yeah. you know. Uh, it, of course, Space had is really reached. interesting, and you kind of have to look at it in two ways, at least from our perspective. There's equity investment. First of all, thank block. you so much for the invitation. Um, so what we do at Transync, so we're uh, I'm the CEO of Doc AI, which is uh, an AI company with a presence on the blockchain. And EIR at 500 startups, working primarily with blockchain and fintech companies. Sort of Bitcoin in the world. We've been around actually since 2011, which makes us probably like. Experience and I I'm actually, no, yeah. to be honest, I'm not the um, first of the everything at all. Like there are so See, all the regulatory actions I was saying ended up happening to some extent, and now we've been getting even on stronger. The, uh, enterprise side of things. Uh, we've got a couple of new customers with Block Enterprise that are Market's taking this. Moving, right? Um, at the SEC, I was there for 13 years, so I did a it lot. It's a I decentralized did. marketplace infrastructure. Uh, we're building out legal Platform service. blockchain-based funds. Uh, we use the Ethereum blockchain to make the process of Apple investing. Is the first cryptocurrency fund of funds. What it means is that we're not a hedge fund, so there's about 100. For quantitative trading programs. Uh, we are on a mission to democratize quantitative Cisco. finance. Uh, we've been um, uh, in business since 2000, the year 2000. Take a, a tech first approach to this. We think that the technology is really kind of the all that matters. Financial system. Uh, the way that we are doing that is through, I guess you could say, a multi -faceted. So, in terms of the price, uh, the Bitcoin can go up five or five, five, you know, five or six. And I think that will probably continue right now. But I think that over Thanksgiving, I was telling all my friends and family to download Coinbase, get uh, one of the big ICR projects take off in Australia. Uh, Power Ledger. Uh, right I think are changing rapidly. Nobody expected the 2017. I think 2018. Yeah, as a fund, I mean, we're mostly focused on the cryptocurrency assets, not, um, you know, just blockchain. We're looking for. Okay. Um, and it was uh, a very smooth ICO as far as all of the. We provide sort of like a back end, like SaaS platform for, for token sales. And uh, the Enigma is to build a protocol uh, which would allow to. Um, or other mythical creatures. <laughs> this is all ICO because they want to know. So the interest level is very high. Our areas of focus are, you know, kind of fintech and, you know, kind of commerce. Those are the. But I'm also the only woman in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily, I can't really say that now because there's a lot in more. 2011. Um, the main, I guess, the main story back then was Silk Road. The and it fell apart somehow. Uh, the Japanese Bring it here. Truck. Um, Acer is a company that basically builds a framework on top of blockchain. Ethereum blockchain uh, decentralized applications. So we create a whole series.